Hi, this is Jeremy Tallman with TNH Realty Services. We work with a lot of investors throughout the United States and throughout the world, really. And one of the main questions they ask, at least at the outset, is what kind of cap rate should I expect to get in Indianapolis? Now, most of you know, cap rate is simply a measurement of the annual net income of a property divided by the purchase price. So let's just give a quick example. Let's say that you're considering buying a property here in Indianapolis that uh, is listed for $90,000. And after talking with us or a property manager or a good realtor, you determine that you can probably get $1,100 a month um, in rent. So that's $13,200 in annual income. So after you understand your income, you back out your expenses. Obviously your, your expenses could be property management, let's say is 10%, uh, so that's $1,320. Property taxes, um, we're gonna use $1,800 because eventually, uh, as you should know, um, you will lose uh, any exemptions you have on that property and you'll be taxed at 2% of the assessed value. So we use $1,800 in this case since the purchase price is $90,000. Insurance, let's say $750. We'll say maintenance is 15%, that'd be $1,980. Um, so your total expenses for this property um, could be $5,850, which leaves you a net income of $7,350. So simply take that divided by the purchase price, and in this particular example, it comes to an 8.2% cap rate. Now, generally speaking, anything in that 8 to 10% uh, cap rate range is considered a good investment here in Indianapolis. There's some investors, though, uh, that are wanting to invest in maybe more uh, solid areas or stable areas, so they're, they're maybe settling uh, for, for a little less of a cap rate. Um, but generally speaking, 8 to 10 percent would be considered a good cap rate here in Indianapolis. Now, a few years ago, um, before we had this massive influx of both corporate and individual investors into our market, people were seeing much higher cap rates, and that's why they all came here, uh, because cap rates were very attractive. Um, some in you know, a 12 to 14 percent range were pretty common. But since all the competition's here, um, people are settling for much uh, lower cap rates. So again, if you have any questions about cap rates, or investing in the central Indiana market, please contact us and thanks for watching.